inflation is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon. Milton Freeman. I had a professor at the University of North Texas, I believe it was in the spring, I think his name was Manny, I don't remember, but um, he was one of the smartest people I ever met, he was kind of chubby, and he told us this one thing over and over again, and I never forgot it, he said the four principles of finance, buy low, sell high, pay late, collect early, pay late, collect early. But anyway, he tells this story about Milton Friedman, and at the time, I, I was a very much a liberal, and I didn't like Milton Friedman, but he says, how could you say something about him? He said, I took a plane trip with him when I was at the University of Chicago, and it drove me crazy. He said he had this great big huge head, and no matter what he said, he had an answer. He said, well, what about this, or what about that? So he says inflation is a monetary phenomenon. And he also said that the velocity of money was constant, which we're finding out it's not. But that's another video. The reason I'm talking about this is I'm talking about what conventional wisdom is. And the conventional wisdom still is that we have this sort of this energy balance system that you have to keep your calories down and and if you expend more energy every day than you than you put in then you'll lose weight and I'm presently reading Mr. Tobbs book why we get fat I mean I'm sorry I read why we get fat I'm reading good calories bad calories which it's so big I don't even know how to book report it on but he's pretty much slaughtered the idea of the energy balance concept. He did, he reported on this one thing, which I'm going to do a, a bigger video on it later, where he says that they put these prisoners and force fed them while they were in prison. As much, it got up to 10,000 calories a day. There was some dude there that could eat, you know, 2,000 calories at a sitting five times a day, and it, it didn't blow him up. I think some of the people fell out of the study. But they force fed these people. Some of them gained a lot of weight. One of them gained only 10 pounds over, uh, I think it was a five or six month period of eating 5,000 calories a day. And he was a little guy from what I understand. But he made it clear, he's making it clear that our bodies are dynamic systems, that our bodies don't follow conventional physics. And I think this whole um, this whole thing, if you if you uh, argue with any about it about this, that uh, you know it's not about that a calorie is not a calorie, and that people that are heavy it's not really their problem, and this is wrong, that the energy balance theory is wrong. You will be in for a fight. You will get pretty much as much hostility as if you're an atheist or. If you say that uh, 911 was an inside job or anything, people react to it. People are very much invested in this concept. And uh, I no longer believe it. You know, I started jogging in 1980, and I ran 30 and 40 miles a week, and I was always kind of chubby. I never got really fat, but I was chubby. You know, I was 170. I'm 170 when I was in high school. And then I got up to about 190, and I would jog and jog and jog and jog, and I kept gaining weight. And people would say, well, why don't you exercise? And then every night I'd go out and exercise. Uh, I, I would run five, six miles a day some days. I ran around 30 miles a week, and I'd keep track of every mile, and it never seemed to work. And then in 92, I started lifting weights, and then I got to the point where I started lifting weights and quit running, and I just decided just to be a big guy. So I got up to nearly 260, and when I was 260, I could front squat 315 pounds all the way to the floor. I could clean 240 all the way from the floor up to my shoulders. I lived at the chiropractor, but I was just fighting with it. I decided, well, why don't I just become a big guy? 
until finally I read this book, Why We Get Fat. And why we get fat is carbohydrates. It's no more, simple, no more complicated than that. If you want to lose weight, don't eat carbohydrates. That's what's true for me. Unless you have, uh, unless you're biologically disposed to gain weight, and then there's really not much you can do about it. It's not your fault. But I still say the carbs will help. So more on this later. Bye-bye.